A Friday night blockbuster was set for Etihad Stadium with second place St Kilda hosting the red hot Hawthorne. Coming off a 48 point defeat last week, the Saints would be keen to atone as they welcome back star midfielder Nick Del Santo. Whilst in the Hawks camp, their 2008 Coleman medalist Lance Franklin would also return. The stars were involved early with Brendan Goddard, the architect, to allow Justin Kaziski to boot the Saints first. He'll have a goal here, so with the Saints, and he slots it right through the middle. Kaziski was again the early target when Adam Schneider found a little space to give him his second. What a beautiful kick, Kaziski, 25 metres out. Now he's made a mistake. Can he make a bins? Yes, he can. It would take almost seven minutes for the Hawks to respond, but it was one of their twin towers that delivered full points. And then Ruffhead dribbling at home, a good reply. Then Michael Osborne was Johnny on the spot with an opportunist goal to level the scores. Osborne got a boot to it and puts it through. The stakes were clearly high with this match set to shape the eight. Nick Dal Santo was an early casualty as Kaczynski grew in confidence and landed his third for the quarter. And he comes, gets the goal, he's on Mark Lacroix pace. <laughs> Whilst quiet in the early exchanges, Lance Franklin was swift to remind us of his rare talent. Franklin's oh, eyes up, what a wonderful kick. And when Cyril Rioli goaled after the quarter time siren, the Hawks had their noses in front. With the Saints' injury concerns growing, it was left to their inspirational skipper to take charge. His second goal from a strong mark was trademark St Nick. Should kick it. An undisciplined Lance Franklin gave away a double 50 metre penalty, which saw Zach Dawson put the Saints back in front. He kicks from 35 and gets it. But Franklin was quick to repay his team with an arrow-like attempt from outside the arc. <laughs> Bang he goes. Alistair Clarkson will be a lot happy with Buddy right now. A late goal to Stephen Milne would see the Saints lead by just one point at the main break. Loves that situation. Picked his opponent's pocket. Hawthorne would start the second half the better with Sean Burgoyne landing a dart on the chest of Brendan Whitecross. Comes in. And he shines right there as he puts it through the middle. And when Luke Hodge burst out of the middle to supply Buddy Franklin with his third, the Hawks were controlling momentum. Franklin's fourth would soon follow. Across the body. Buddy does. But two quick majors from the marksman Adam Schneider had the Saints back in touch in a seesawing encounter. Drills at home. Unable to find the goals last week, Adam Schneider loomed as the game breaker. His third for the quarter swung the game back in the Saints' favour. But as was the case throughout this epic encounter, the game would swing again. Osborne would break the deadlock soon after three-quarter time. Well, the advantage to Osborne and rams it high. And when Franklin was awarded 50 metres to boot his fifth, the Hawks again had a little breathing space. With their resilience severely tested, the Saints would again stand defiant. Stephen Milne awoke from his slumber to ignite the Saints. His two goals in three minutes had bridged the gap. Point the difference. A Jared Roughhead goal in the dying stages saw Hawthorne edge clear. But a final twist would unfold in a truly remarkable game. Ben McAvoy's goal inside the final minute, again levelling the scores for the final time. A heart-wrenching draw, a fitting result to a titanic struggle. Brad Seymour, Big Pond Sport.